The thing about batteries is, when the battery goes dead, you gotta, it's time to drink a beer. <laughs> Hey, welcome to Big with BR, and today I'm doing a walk around the new Ego Mower. Now, this thing has actually been around for a while, and I'm comparing it to the Greenworks Pro. I am not sponsored, and these are just my opinions, but when I happened to be at my local Lowe's, they actually had a lot of them in stock, so I wanted to check them out, give you some comparisons, and just see which one you think will work out best for you. Now, these are the 42-inch, and if you're not familiar with them, they take six batteries, they're fully electric and very comparable to the Greenworks Pro. Now, I try to look everywhere when I'm looking at a mower. So up front, I was looking for the grease fittings. I was just trying to see what the front looks like. And when you compare that to the Greenworks Pro, it actually has a tow hitch in the front, which I think is super cool. It also has the grease fittings at the tires and around the area that, that you needed the most. And so for me, that's that's great because that makes maintenance easy. And that's something you want to do yearly. Now, the Ego does also take some lubrication, but that's mostly going to be underneath your deck, according to the manual. Now, they both have their control center up here. The Ego has this really nice display. It takes the key fob and it's push start and a place for your phone. When you compare that to the Greenworks Pro, it actually starts with a key and the display is smaller. So it actually feels like a traditional gas mower or even like a car. You just turn that thing, let it click, you let go and it will fire up. I prefer the Ego style display. It's big, it's easy to read. So thumbs up to Ego there. Now, for some reason, Ego decided to put the batteries in the back. This trunk area, you just lift the lid. It takes the six slots for the batteries. It works well. It looks like it keeps them out of the sun. I would have preferred it to be underneath the seat. I actually like the Greenworks better because when you have it underneath the seat, you now can turn this back area into this really nice trunk. So if you like to put the stuff in the back of your mower when you're cutting or if you need to haul stuff, the Greenworks Pro trunk can hold about 300 pounds and it has a tow hitch that lets you tow up to 300 pounds. So I think that's super cool for the Greenworks. Now I tried to get the seat to budge on the Ego. I couldn't, but it's a super nice seat. And I think they did it this way because they give you a lot of flexibility with adjustment. They also have this knob down near the bottom where you can increase the firmness or you can make it soft. And this thing is labeled like crazy. So when you get up there and you actually sit on it right between your legs, you can actually see instructions. If, if you're a first time uh, zero turn user, it'll tell you how to go forward, reverse, back. It tells you how to adjust the seat. So thumbs up to them for labeling it really well. Now this seat again, I tried to move it and there's no access to underneath from what I can tell. Whereas the Greenworks Pro, everything's underneath the seat so you can tilt it and you can get underneath, but that's where your batteries go. Now they both have really nice set of tires. The Ego does have these cool looking rims that are kind of like the traditional car rims. The Ego also has these nice LED lights in the back with the Greenworks Pro. I didn't see the lights in the back. Now underneath where the transmission is, the Ego is very open. Uh, I don't think you'll have any problems with this style. A lot of mowers are like this, but when you compare it to the Greenworks Pro, they have this nice steel skid plate, and I think that adds some value there if you hit a if you hit a rock or you go over a big hill. Now the Ego is plug-in charge. It'll charge all your batteries at one time with the with the plug. When you compare that to the Greenworks Pro, that actually has to use individual chargers and if you watch my previous video it actually trips our breaker so definitely check that out now here's a view and when you get into the cockpit i like the rubber mats keeps it from from you from slipping here's the view from the greenworks pro it's a little more bare bone but they work well they're both easy to get on they're both lap bar zero turns and the ego has this really nice cup holder area what I really like about this particular cup holder area, it has this lid so you can charge your phone. You just close the lid, keeps the sun off your phone, works really well. Greenworks Pro also has a USB charger, but there's no lid, no cover to protect your electronic device when you're actually charging it and if you're if you're mowing at the same time. So just hats off to Ego here with that cover. The lap bars are fully adjustable for height, of course, for your arm length. They both do that. So does the Greenworks Pro. So they both do a good job there. 
Durability and build quality, they're both solid mowers. They both have 12 gauge decks. Now the Ego does have this nice rubber bumper on the deck to protect your deck, whereas the Greenworks Pro does not have that. So they're both direct drive. They both have um, just a whole different variety of ranges and the deck heights all the way up to four and a half inches. Now the Ego also has a power meter right there on above the deck where your feet are to tell you how much battery life you have and that makes it really nice. Both are great mowers, both are very comfortable. They both mow up to about two acres. So definitely check them out at your local store. If you like this video, please subscribe, please give a thumbs up and definitely be on the lookout for my next video. Thanks for watching.